And I can't breathe without you Live without you Be without your love You're everything You're all I need You've got it all And I can't breathe without you Live without you Be without your love We are all free We stand complete Welcome to Yam! This is Pastor Gio. And I'm Miss Sharon. Guys, it's the first Sunday of the month. And if it's the first Sunday of the month, we like to celebrate... Birthdays! Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Woo! Happy birthday! Whoa! Alright! What a festive birthday! Hey. I love birthday! If you were born in the month of May, we would like to celebrate your birthday and also we would love to pray for you. So yes. Miss Sharon will pray for us. So if you're watching at home, please reach out your hand. We're going to pray for all the birthday kids on the month of May. Are you ready? Here we go. If you guys are ready, you can close your eyes. And also, if you are celebrating birthday, you can go to the middle of your room so we could just pray for you. For those of you around the one celebrating, you can reach out your hand just like Iron Man. Close your eyes and we're gonna pray. Father in heaven, thank you so much for giving us a chance to celebrate birthdays, even though it's virtual, but we just wanna pray, oh Lord, that you would give everyone who's celebrating this month a wonderful celebration. You would give them peace and calmness, and most of all, Lord, joy in their hearts. We know that your plans for them are so great, and we're just so excited to celebrate their birthdays this month. We love you, Jesus, in your mighty name we pray, and everyone say, Amen! Amen. All right, we'll see you back in class. Here we go. But don't go and party just yet. We have an amazing lesson for you today. Have you ever broken any rules before? Like in your classroom, or maybe at home? Miss Sharon, you were a teacher before. I How was. many rules does your classroom have? Well, my students made five rules that they made on their own. But here's the thing, they can't even follow it. Oh boy. In today's lesson, we will learn about the 10 rules that God gave to the Israelites. Let's see what those 10 rules are. Hi, kids, I'm Mr. Cow. Moo. I'm here today to talk to you about the story of the Ten Commandments. The Israelites are still on their wilderness journey. This time, they camped out at the base of a mountain called Mount Sinai. God said to Moses, I am going to come to you in a thick cloud. Get the people ready to hear me speak to you so that they will believe you. Moses got the people ready, then God gave Moses the Ten Commandments. He wrote it on two stone tablets. The first one to remember is to have no other gods but me. A long time ago, people would worship different gods. In fact, they had so many gods. They had a god for harvest, a god for animals, and so many others. But the people of Israel were reminded that there is only one true God. Rawr! The second commandment. God is so great, no picture or statue can represent him. 
and images of other gods are worthless. They only lead people away from God. I have a My Superhero poster, but my superheroes are nothing compared to how great God is. I love God! Rawr! The Third Commandment Using God's name in the wrong way is not okay. If you do this, you do not show respect for God. Our God is good. And we should remember to use his name to bring goodness, kindness, and encouragement. Moo. The Four Commandments God rested on the seventh day, and he wants us to rest too. It is a day to focus on God and on his beautiful creation and also our family. Oh wait! Resting does not mean sleeping all the time. It means just spending time to love the people around you, like your mom, your dad, brother or sister, and remembering how great our God is. I love God! Rawr! The Fifth Commandment You are to respect your mom and your dad. God made you to be a part of a family. Your mom and your dad are there to help. You must listen to their words and obey them. They only want what is best for you in the same way that God wants to take care of you. The Sixth Commandment God gave us life. He wants us to realize how precious life is and not to even think about hurting others. So remember everyone, we have to love one another, not hurting each other. The Seventh Commandment God made man and woman. A time will come for them to get married. And God wants them to remember that they have to love and respect each other as husband and wife. God created marriage and it is good. Married people have to be faithful to each other. Move. The Eighth Commandment. Everything we have comes from God. We should be thankful for what we have. Taking away things that are not ours, her people, gets us in trouble. One time, I took my friend's toy and my friend cried. It was bad. He cried the entire day. I finally gave it back. He was upset. Thankfully, my friend is really nice. He forgave me for what I did, but I learned Never to take something that isn't mine. The Ninth Commandment Always tell the truth. Making up stories can lead to people getting hurt. Even if your intention was to help them, lying will not solve the problem. God tells us that we must walk in light and truth. It is not always an easy thing to do. But our God helps us to speak honest words. The Ten Commandment Coveting, it is when we want things that we can have or should not have. It makes us unhappy. It is selfish. It is the opposite of God's way of thinking. God wants us to be loving and giving. These are the Ten Commandments that God gave Moses and the people of Israel. Following rules can be tough, but without the rules, the world will be a mess. God gave us rules because He loves us and because He is holy. When we break the rules, we separate ourselves from God. So God sent His Son, Jesus. Jesus is our way to God. Hey guys, we're gonna do our key passage. Remember, it has two steps. God is good. 
We're going to do it again. Ready? God, God is good. good. Very good, guys. Let's close in prayer. You ready? Close your eyes. Here we go. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for your wisdom. We thank you for the blessings that you have given us. We thank you for our friends and family. Bless our activities this week. In Jesus' name, everybody say, Amen. Amen.